as you would have probably guessed, today's operator is Valkyrie. Uh, she is a defender from the Navy SEALs and a part of the Dust Line DLC. Her special ability is the Black Eye Camera. Okay, so let's quickly look into um, Valkyrie's weapons and her loadouts. She has two primary weapons, the MPX and uh, the SPAS-12. The SPAS-12 being a shotgun with 33 damage and a fire rate of 1. As far as how I like to play uh, the SPAS-12, I use a uh, reflex sight on it and that's about it. It's a simple weapon but does decent amount of damage. Um, as far as what I do prefer to use, it is the MPX. I run the MPX with a red dot, uh, the muscle break and the vertical grip. Uh, it does 33 damage and no sorry it does 25 damage and has a fire rate of 830. The secondary weapon is the D50 or the Beagle, quite lethal in the right situations. And uh, as far as the gadgets go, you have an option of the deployable shield or the C4. That is the nitrosol, but I prefer to use the nitrosol because she is a Roma. This is what her gear looks like, a basic uh, Navy SEAL uniform. And she has the ability to set up black eye cameras, uh, which have a feed that can be accessed by the whole team as observation tools. So um, we're on the map canal and this is the boat supplies room, this is the objective. Uh, to be a successful Valkyrie player you need to know three things. Uh, the first is you need to have good map knowledge. Second, you need to know the entry spots to the objective that you're protecting, whether uh, it's the bombs, whether uh, it's the hostage or whether it's secure area. And the third is to be able to know uh, where to place the camera so that you can use all that knowledge uh, and intel and relay it back to your teammates uh, to help them get the upper hand. So for example, I know uh, the exact places where all the cameras are on this, uh, on this map. So I know that there's one camera protecting, uh, viewing this portion of the stairs. There's another camera which is right there, which looks at this portion of the stairs. Now. This room has five points of entry. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. There's another one right there. And there's one there. So I know that these are the five points of entry into this room. Now there are two external, direct external points of entry, that being this and the one on the other side towards the north. So when I place my camera, I keep that much. I like to place one right here. So that gives me the view towards this external entry and this part. So let's say someone gets in here and I don't see them or my team is not see them. Then it creeps to this I can still look at them now the next point and this is just this objective right so I know that there's a lot of top down play on this map 
so I can see. This is completely disruptable. This whole flow is disruptable. So I like to place a cam right there. Yep. That gives me a good view into the room. So say there's a fuse right here, I can let my teammates know that, okay, there's a fuse above, watch out. And the third is an external camera. I like to keep the external camera right at the end. Right at the end of the prep phase so that it gives me enough time to set reinforcements and whatnot. Now, this is the third camera which looks into the north external entry. So if I know that somebody is coming in, I can always tell my teammates and let them know that, all right, say three operators coming in from the north entry, fuse uh, top down, and uh, one coming in from the southern entry. And that is how you get the intel and let your teammates know. And you use the exact same intel to be able to flag. So say I was hiding here, and I know that there's a fuse coming, there's a fuse in there, run in, and gun. Or, simply throw that.